Okay, so we have our results back. In part one, we went pretty quick. Part two, I wanna talk about the results, what might be interesting here, and then identify some other tools that you can download and use and go play with on your own. So this has identified quite a few things. I mean, there's a big list here, 87 subdomains. And I lied to you when I said that it didn't get fourth levels. I thought there, there used to be a recursive feature where you'd have to do a dash R to get those. Now you don't have to do that. It just picks up fourth levels for you. Now, Sublister is great at finding some of these things. Like if we come through here, there is a dev.tesla.com. And I saw down towards the end that there was some staging, staging two here, a dev here, a test. These all look juicy. SSO-dev looks juicy. I might be after something like QA as well, or something like vpn.tesla.com. I wanna know where your mail is at. So here's webmail, xmail, anything here. You could also look through these lists and possibly identify what kind of tools they're using. You might see something like link.tesla.com or zoom.tesla.com. And this really just kind of drives home what they're running on their back end for a lot of things. Now, this isn't the all inclusive. Sublister is a great tool. Sublister was ahead of its time when it came out, but there are better tools out there. There are tools that incorporate pretty much everything in one go. So you might have cert.sh like this, you might have Sublister included. And the one tool that is really popular, if you go out to Google, type in OWASP AMAS, and this is the go-to tool for a lot of people doing bug bounty hunting. So if we click on the AMAS project here in GitHub, you can download the project and install it per the installation instructions here. So you have an installation guide down in the documentation. The reason I have chose not to show it in this series is because actually running AMAS takes a long time but you can configure AMAS to do a lot of things and find a lot more subdomains. So my challenge to you is to get AMAS installed and on top of that, see how many more subdomains than 87 can you find when you actually run it. So another th last thing to point out is if you want to use Sublister and you were you used it, it was really, really slow, it's always helpful to check the dash H on the help. And you can see in here that there is a dash T for threads. Always check the help. So we can specify a domain like we did before. Do something like dash D of Tesla.com. And then you can specify threads of like 100 as opposed to maybe one thread or 10 threads that was running originally. We give it 100 threads. It's going to go a lot faster. We're going to get a lot more results. You could also do a dash V for verbosity here and get your results in real time if you're impatient or you're trying to go out to the web. So there are great tools out there for doing subdomain hunting. And again, subdomain hunting is very, very critical because if we just limited ourselves to tesla.com, look at all the things that we would miss. So we can find out a lot here. Now, not all of these pages are going to be alive also. There's a good possibility that we can go to something like this mfa.dev or dash dev.tesla.com and then it won't work. We can give it a go and see. Like, Not always do these work. These are what show up in search engines, but it's worth knowing about them. And there are other tools out there such as like, go to Google, such as Tom Nom Nom's HTTP probe like this. Tools like that out there that will probe a list that you give it. You can give it this list into the probe. It'll say, hey, this website's alive or this website's not alive. And then you can start narrowing down these lists as well. So that is something to think about when you get your wheels spinning. But for now, for information gathering and for the scope of this course, we don't have to worry about it too much. But I do want to point out some other alternatives and ways to do subdomain hunting and then what to look for in subdomain hunting. So that is it for this video. I'm going to catch you over in the next one.